Are you ready to go? Yeah. All right, I wish you the best of luck. Take your time when you're ready. Drive on and just follow the sat nav and completely ignore me from now. For everybody at home, if you're here for the results, please jump to the end of the video. We will be doing the results at the end. So if you're here for that, jump to the end. If not, we'll be doing some nice tips with e-tron as we drive, as we did on the last video here at Greenford. Very nice driving. I'll point out all the good tips that you'll need to know for your driving test. And guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. So oh. to distract you, drive on when you're ready. At the end of the road, turn left, Dawson and lay north. Turn left. Okay, now this is a very challenging route. Okay. If you go to the dual carriageway on the morning test, this is one of the ways you may go, okay? Extremely unlikely, but this is one of the tests that's happened just the other week, and they went this way. So brilliant. So you see how you were braking earlier and then It's almost like every bicycle now is an electric bicycle. Yeah. It's very common. First challenge down, 20 to go. <laughs> nice use of speed, good spacing on all sides. Call that a safety bubble. Your bubble's not popping, yeah, it's nice.
three kids. Yeah. So uh, in case people were wondering, that was a bit random, why did he say very good? So on our previous test, we did receive uh, a driver fault. I'm not gonna go into depth, so if you wanna go and see that video, that'll be our first route to Greenford with e-trend. Um, and it was when we got a little bit close to one of the parked cars. So it was the speed that we approached the parked car at that caused us to get quite close. So what's nice to see now is e-trend's actually adapting that speed earlier, so slowing down earlier. So when we reach the parked car, we're at a good safe speed to, you know, react if we need to stop or change direction or anything like that. So we're just modifying your existing driving skills. At the end of the road, turn right, B452, Tinworth Gardens. So just like on the last test room, you can ignore me if you like, the sat nav's giving you direction. 20% of the tests, they'll ask you to follow the sign to Oxford. Turn right. A lot of people feel that this is only a one way. Yeah. If there was uh, no turns, there'd be a sign that would be on the traffic light to tell us. It's a bit strange, doesn't it? <laughs> you see all that traffic going like that, so yeah. Um, if you're unsure, just look at the traffic After light and tell yards, you if there's no turns. Turn right, A40, towards Harrow. After 300 yards, this is tricky. turn right. The sign's behind the tree, so if you want to go to walking speed, try and look at the sign. The big arrow is the trick, so you want to be on that big arrow. Nice mirrors, well done. The sign's so hard to read though. Okay, so this is the lane you need, the big arrow lane. That one's allowed as well, it's just trickier, that's all. Yeah. So this one... Good understanding. Similar to the staggered crossroads you had on your previous test. That one was at the South Harrow sign. I'm not exactly sure what area that's called, I guess it would be South Harrow. Got After 70 more. yards, turn right, A40, towards Harrow. If you ever need an extra pair of sunglasses, there's an extra pair hiding down there. You can use those for your driving test. The sun goes directly in the eyes. It is the biggest hazard of all, so um, they're there for you if you need them. Just try not to put them on when you're doing 70 miles an hour down the motorway. <laughs> One of my students did that, <laughs> and uh, let's just say it didn't end up too well. We're all safe, and think it was okay, but it was a little bit dramatic. Excellent lane discipline, very, very good. Perfect signal. Turn right. A40 towards Harrow. Well done. Excellent junction. Very good with your second traffic light here. Yeah. <clears throat> After 800 yards, take the exit towards Greenford, then go straight on Western Avenue. Very good. Mirror drops the full carriage way. Excellent mirror signals. Nice smooth steering. Everything was out of me. And the next 
matching your speed to the track you might be joining. Take the exit towards Greenford, then go straight on Western Avenue. Go straight on, then go right on the roundabout yeah. and take the third exit. So more break, more break. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A4127, towards Harrow. Yeah, you're like me, you don't like it there. I don't like it there either. Feels like you can't see too much, right? Nice lane discipline, right lane, right signal. Very good, yes, nice understanding, good mirror check. All right. Take the exit, A4127, Greenford Road, then turn left. For anyone that's still with us, that's how you do Greenford Roundabout. Nice mirror checks, very nice. Nice spiral on your roundabout. So just to clarify why, um, where you approach second exit, you were starting to move across into that center lane. Excellent job with your pedestrian crossing. Okay, so we're only going until the next road. So it's just a little bit of traffic. Yep, all round, excellent drive so far. Like I said on the end of our last video, too many spoilers here. <laughs> um, I said that you could clean sheet your driving test. Now, that sheet, just in case anyone's having trouble understanding my thick accent, um, that means zero marks, okay? So, not easy to do. Had one student recently, she got one but it was a serious. <laughs> Don't laugh, Scott. Wait. <laughs> Stop it. Um, she's an excellent driver as well, and it seems to be the way, like these really good drivers, just, just one little thing comes up, you know? After right, 200 if it's yards, safe, which it turn seems left, to be, there's Ingram no parked cars, we could take a little bit of a cheeky shortcut and just come across here. Uh, I don't think they're parking. I might be wrong. All right, that's my fault then. I apologize. Yeah, so if it's safe, we'll come back out. Because uh, some people, they just try to slip down the left here for the next road on the left. So it seems to be fine now. There's no more parked cars. That's my fault. I took responsibility for that. Actually, there is. There's, sorry, there's one more parked car. Okay. So I was trying to be cheeky, but it didn't work out. My bad. Sorry. Turn left. Ingram Way. Let's just be this next. Excellent mirrors. Good timing on the signal. Nice early braking. to be bad. <laughs> I'm so close. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw that. Okay, alright. At right. the end of the road, turn right, Oldfield Lane North, then turn left. This is better. See how much room we've yeah. got so we can really get out. Excellent mirror checks. Loads of room, okay? <laughs> Examiners call that shaving, alright? And I wasn't too lazy this morning, so I managed to have a a horrible shave, probably missed a few spots, uh, but we want to just give that more gap, yeah. I love those mirror checks. Good thing we can just kind of still see the tyres of the vehicle in front as well. 
think it's a swim to move around them and if they park, you know, like we did on the Greenfield Road just now. That was nice. Obviously, my mistake. I mis 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 misread the road there. Um, but you left enough room to get around that vehicle after. Turn right, Oldfield Lane North, then turn left. Okay, what I'm going to do is just say that's the end of the independent drive. So we'll turn right at the end of the road and then I'll just give the directions for the remainder of the test. Similar to a real test, we only had the sat nav for 20 minutes and then the examiner will give us direction for the rest of the test. Thank you, so ignore the sat nav, sometimes it's possessed and it keeps talking. Just follow the road ahead. Good judgment, well done. You can see that we clearly have to go over that line and we don't have priority if we have to go over, so we're just gonna make sure it's safe. Excellent pre-mirror check there, getting ready to go. Nice with your gaps. A lovely double, triple check on the mirror there as well. Fantastic. Again, very good mirror checks for a change of direction, looking out for the motorbikes. In there, see that entrance there to the car park. Uh, sorry, would you cancel that? My bad. Sorry, apologize. Just follow the road ahead. I just realized we can't use that car park. I was just trying to be a bit cheeky again. Cheeky chappy here missing up oh, twice now on this route. Apologize. Okay, we're just going to continue to follow the road then, see if we can get lucky uh, on the road that I was planning to use. We'll see how it goes. Cross my fingers. Just need to get us to do a manoeuvre, that's all. So we'll be approaching a roundabout, it's a little bit further down. When we reach the roundabout, I'd like us to take the third exit, turning right. with your signals. Okay, so I was hoping to use one of these parking bays. Maybe the blue car, the baby blue car, I think. Would you just pull up parallel with this baby blue car and then see if we can try to reverse park into this space here. That's actually the distance that the examiners would give us. It's about two car lengths. All right, take your time when you're ready. I'd like us to reverse park, please. Thank you. 
excellent blind spot check just now over your right shoulder, well done. Nice triple checks just to be safe. <clears throat> if the traffic can't pass, we continue. If they can pass, we stop and allow them to pass. Well done with all your observations. Excellent, very good, we observe him again. Reference points look good. Do we need to? Uh, yeah, I think Alrighty, thank you. Um, we're going to commence. Commence? No, we're going to finish. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. Uh, would you turn the car off? So we'll know it's the end of the test when the examiner asks us to switch the car off. Who would have thought English was my first language? Um, right, so as we all know, it is a tradition around here. Look, nothing happening here, right? So we're literally in the dark now. So what do you reckon? Pass or fail? I think that was a pass. A pass, Definitely all right. scared by me being too close to there. Yeah, <laughs> I did get a little bit worried at that point. Okay, so um, I didn't use the controls. Yeah, a bit different yeah. to the first test. Yeah? yeah, so that's nice. So we've already got people here in chat. Um, moderators, if you start the poll, that'd be brilliant. We've got uh, Kanazi. Uh, I, I'm murdering that name, I'm sorry. Jasmine Pass. You know, you can see it all happening here. Becca Pass, Eel Pass, Sarah Pass. A lot of pass going on here. We might get a poll come in and we'll get a percentage in a moment. Okay, so from you pass, from chat pass, from me, I'm still doing my results and my, my markings here. Okay, just give me a moment. All right, thank you. Uh, right. There we go. Okay, cool. Right, so let's start this off then with the results. Congratulations, you have passed. We've given your examiner a heart attack at the same time. <laughs> Examiner's feeling nice today, I guess. Um, now, very good on your show me, tell me questions. Mark that in the wrong box. 10-10, uh, so absolutely perfect. Uh, very nice maneuver. The reason why I was joking with you, because I was almost going to give you a clean sheet, but I don't think I could really let you get away with the heart attack moment. Yeah. So that's your second minor. Now, the first minor would be, I know how bad this sounds and how strict it might make me look as well, but I'm just passing on the, the message. Uh, if we correct the maneuver, and by all means, do correct it. What that means is moving forwards, backwards, as many times as you need to, yeah. within about two to three minutes, maybe. Uh, otherwise, examiners might sort of end the maneuver after that amount of time. Um, but we can do that. Now, we get one minor driver fall. It doesn't matter how many times we move forwards or backwards, so just mark it as a minor. We do it all in reverse, it's clean. Yeah. So that's just the, the first minor, and, and the second minor would be the uh, the vehicle that we got a little bit close to at that one point. Okay, so congratulations again, well done. Your driving on the whole is very good. If there was one area that I'd say to just be cautious of is sometimes when we have the meeting situations, if you like, so that means a vehicle yeah. coming towards us and a parked car, we can't get through. Uh, break early like you've been doing so that's good progression on your driving skills and then leave more room from the parked car so it's easier for us to move out yeah. and get around it afterwards any questions no that's... no all right so yes. that just leaves us to say a uh, goodbye a uh, goodbye and a uh, goodbye and we're going to troll the guest here now goodbye <laughs>